the opinions expressed on the Matt and Nick experience are just that, opinions. Most opinions are based on experiences, and these, well, you get it. What's going on, Matt? Oh yeah, you know, nothing much, man. We're uh, back at it. Yeah, we're back at it. Uh, took a little hiatus. Hiatus, yeah. A couple, couple weeks away. That's right. Uh -huh. Yeah, I had a little edible experience there. We kind of missed out last week. Yeah, you got had a journey of my, <laughs> my own, man. Indeed, a fantastic <laughs> journey yes. wherein you were, you were abducted by... Hydra cannibals. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Receptors. <laughs> Receptors, right? So we're back at it. It's uh, July 3rd, 2017. Mm -hmm. Yep. Day yep. before Independence Day. Sure is. Sure is. Boy, a uh, big holiday here in America. Sure is, yep. man. Beer yep. and burgers, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, and, and fireworks, right? Fireworks. Yep. Well, maybe not this year. Oh, right, right. The burn ban. Yeah, yeah. fire ban. Yeah. It's kind of in full effect. Right. So here in western Colorado, we don't... Um, yeah. <laughs> it gets kind of hot and dry. It's, uh, it's, yeah. We live in a desert, yeah. for sure. Uh, you know, if we lived in somewhere like Salem, you know, a little closer to the, uh, the Maybe ocean. closer to the water, you yeah. think they, we, we wouldn't have this problem? Probably not. Probably, probably not. not. I'm, you know, it's interesting that you mentioned Salem, and I feel like there's probably a reason for this. Uh, <laughs> our first, our first, our first story we're going to deal with, coming to us from Dirge Magazine, which is a favorite of mine. Absolutely. We are, we're going to church with Satan. Hey! <laughs> Why wouldn't you? <laughs> We've been down this road before, haven't we, Matt? We have, we have. I feel like this is not uh, totally uncommon no. for us to, to talk about things the Church of Satan I think I'm doing. just kind of infatuated, you know, I myself am not a follower of the Church of Satan by no means, but no. I'm infatuated with these guys because you have a, mm -hmm. a large mass of, uh, of religious people that are... A are, large dark mass, you know. A large, uh, very, very much so. Uh -huh. uh, mm -hmm. You were mentioning this too, these, these people are... are They've got it, man. They're they're pretty smart. Right. It's kind of weird in, in this day and age to think that that you may have the voice of reason, <laughs> logic, intelligence, and and human and decency. And cool names like Ash Astaroth. Right. Yeah. Really, and really really sweet names. Yeah. I mean, all buildings kind of, are being donated to these guys. Geez, all fact. of this spouting forth from the <laughs> the church of Satan's <laughs> of all of all things, right? Dark steeple, right? So, just a quick reminder: the Church of Satan they don't necessarily worship Satan, now, do they, Matt? No, no. I think we did. I think we did like a run through on this before, and it, it's really they they have these tenets, which are kind of like like commandments, I guess. Sure, sure. But but they kind of a they, more they, loose, they, right? Very 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 much more loose, but but very humanistic, and I can get behind that because I'm a human. And I, I like oh, yeah. humans. Again, we won't be signing up for, for the newsletter, but maybe we should. <laughs> so yeah. the Church of Satan, you might think, would, would be headquartered out of a very large, dark... Yeah, Death Valley or something. Uh, well, like, something. You know? I mean, and, and the fact that this is in Salem is pretty... It's it's close enough, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. So from a place where we once drowned women uh, just for being women, kind of. Yeah. You know. Dirty witch. Just to see if we could. Uh, comes comes to the headquarters of the Church of Satan. So, oh, this is their headquarters. Yes, yeah, headquarters in Salem, Massachusetts. Salem, Massachusetts. This is a Salem Art Gallery, to be exact. It's a, a fairly unassuming building from the outside, located in nor the northern part of the Witch City. <laughs> you imagine this happening right. at the time of the uh, the prosecution of wit witches? Well, and it could get kind of interesting. The Witch City, uh, you have the Sandwich City. If if it's in out here in Western yeah. Colorado, it'd be the, really be the Sand. Which <laughs> that's it. in which, yeah, that's yeah, yeah. I won't do that again. <laughs> and so it's a simple Victorian building. Doesn't boast about the dark treasures within. I love how this is written. Dirge yeah. magazine's a lot of fun for me. I enjoy them. So, to to quote Ash Astaroth of the Satanic Temple, the building was donated to us. It's been a funeral home for most of its history. So oh, this is perfect. fitting. This yeah. is very fitting. You have all this dark, dark stuff in this building, and and so why not? It's not quite the uh, the big black temple you would you know <laughs> absolutely expect, not. you know just constantly dripping in blood <laughs> like they just have somebody pouring blood down the walls all the time right so the satanic in itself is an organized religion dedicated to spreading benevolence among all mm -hmm. people in accordance with what it calls which sound, it, it sounds good benevolence yeah. i mean that's kind of what optimus prime does he's, <laughs> he's all about benevolent <laughs> beings yeah. right so. yeah uh, uh satanic values uh, that include the struggle for justice mm -hmm. Uh, the necessary pursuit that should prevail over all laws and institutions, yep. and uh, that their beliefs should conform to the best scientific understanding of the world. Whoa! Right. Whoa. Hey, How that's weird. I mean, that's it's almost based in reality. That's almost. And, and and it's good to point out that you're right. The Satanic Temple is an atheistic religion. So, you know, 
there there you have it. So there's really no no I mean obviously the the things that they follow and gosh you can't scroll too far without getting a picture of a naked woman. Absolutely. With a chalice of some sort. Absolutely. And it doesn't matter. Anytime you Google anything about the church of Satan, just warning you, good throng, that, that there's a real possibility you're gonna see some I love some breasts. Some quotes going on here. <laughs> yeah, 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 absolutely. Um, I love the fact too that you have an organized religion such as, you know, the the, the Church of Satan. And here they are uh, saying you know, we're always seeing the other side of the coin to every archetype. So while mm -hmm. Christians might demonize the whore of Babylon, we see her as an empowered woman. Yeah. And they, uh, they let their women employees wear pants. That's, that's interesting, Nick. It's funny you should bring that up. You know, because you would think that most, most, most people, God-fearing or not, would, would agree that women should probably be able to wear pants. I mean, you'd think, right? Clearly, that's not the case. No. Clearly, that's not the case. What's going let's, on here? Let's jump into our next little bit here. The uh, and and this is gonna have this whole thing. This whole episode is just gonna have a religious bend. Kind of a little. Maybe we're questioning eternity. Maybe. What, uh, maybe. Who knows? Maybe not. The Mormon Church just allowed female employees to wear pants. So females are right. Way to. All right. Catching up with the times. Boy, you fellers are progressive, ain't you? Yeah. Jeez, that's horrible. Okay, so this was posted uh, June 30th, 2017, to timestamp. So this isn't like a year ago. No. So we just went from empowered whores to, to female employees can now wear pants. Yay. Yeah. And on top of this, Matt, women employed by the church who give birth will now receive six weeks of paid leave. Well, now that's that's good actually. I like that. That's fantastic. I can. I, I can I, why was that not a thing before though? Uh, apparently that? not. Apparently not. That's a real bitch working for God. Yeah. Yeah. yeah no kidding. Yeah. Yeah. Who, who would have thought? I mean, it looks like it's all mansions and nice cars and. Come on, Joseph Smith. Joe Smith, man, <laughs> bring it. Damn um, the man, bringing this, bring the woman down. Look at that. So yeah, mm -hmm. basically there was this this announcement that. Uh, uh, by the church mm -hmm. that women were now allowed to wear professional pantsuits and dress slacks to work. Right, right. Rather than skirts and dresses as had long been required. That's not, you know, necessary. It's not, not shocking. Yeah. Uh, you know, professional pantsuits and dress slacks. I, I could see where this would be a big deal for the Mormon church. I, I, I get it. I get why this is a, a story and a thing. Yeah. I, I think. I, yeah, I, right. but, but at the same time, I'm just like, boy, isn't it kind of... God, isn't it kind of silly? It, no, it absolutely is this silly, is and that's silly. why we're talking about this it, is silly Because this, this is, is, I saw this as news start, like come up, and I was like, "This is we this gotta, is what? This is fucking wow, silly. Dude, this, this is, is crazy, this is, dude. This is like wow. This is Walt Disney. Almost as silly. crazy as you know, swimming against a shark, which we'll get to. I mean, but well, is, okay, we'll get into that yeah, later. Man, but, this is, but this is this is fucking silly to me. Yeah, absolutely. And I mean, we know a few people that are that are that are Mormon. Not not many. Yeah. We won't dime them out here, no, but no, no. But and most of them, I, I feel like most of them would be okay with women wearing pants. Yeah. In fact, I feel like most of them are married to women. I'm just throwing pants. this out there. We we talk about Mormons and Mormonism a lot, and mm -hmm. you know it may seem like we're sitting here bashing and like. Oh, right, we're not. We're not. I mean, I was baptized Mormon. Uh, I have a kind of unique inside look on kind of how the, the church works and right. be, you what a, it's like. Being, you have a better working knowledge of it than I do. Right, and you know. I just think it's it's fun to talk about it it's because I see some of these ideas to be a little outlandish. Well, and it's important, too, because we're talking about how progressive, you know, if we're contrasting Church of Satan and the Mormon... <laughs> Which it, we do all... Yeah. It's important. Yes. We're, it's, it's important. We do this frequently. I get it. But it's important to kind of weigh both sides. You know, why why wouldn't you? Yeah. You, you definitely want to see it from, from... Because, I mean, ultimately, these are kind of, you know... Uh, to me, organized religion, it's it's kinda it's kind of a fan club slash hobby to me. Definitely. And that's and that's great. You know, it does some great things for people, but it's interesting if you're gonna talk about one, it's important to talk about you the know, other. Because I think at the end of the day, you know, religion in itself, you know, it, Mormons, the Mormons that I know, the, the, my family members of mine that are Mormon, they're fantastic people. Right. But I think that the Ten Commandments do establish kind of a common sense here's you know here's right, how to live right. and be a good person I, i'll be real with you i mean there, there's no doubt in my mind that it's a pretty good pretty good little guidebook to to humaning mm -hmm. I, I think it's not a bad a terrible one you know don't kill I don't people. necessarily think we need to build monuments of the ten commandments i wouldn't either you know and if 
if I saw one, <laughs> I'd want to do what this next guy did. So we're going to move out of the Church of Mormon, which, which again, you know, and Church I can see, I, I know, yeah. it's the Mormon Church, the Church of Mormon, I don't know. LSD. Every time I hear Mormon, I think of Mammon, which is, you know, supposed to be, I think that was Lucifer's Maman. son. Yeah. Maman, yeah. I, you know, which is weird. So... Let's get let's get out of this. We're you know before we open Little up. Rock, Arkansas. I don't want to open up another portal, but here's the <laughs> thing. So Little Rock, Arkansas. I've lived in Arkansas, and this is interesting to me because I can attest to some of the the silliness. And and this does definitely have a, a twist of you know um, religious people being silly about sure, things. Sure. So Arkansas put up uh, recently put up Ten Commandments uh, at the uh, what is this? <laughs> no, no, well, it's at the state capitol. It's a monument that they erected at the state capitol. Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> it wasn't even up for 24 hours, man. Not even 24 hours. This is pretty, this is some fast acting vengeance, don't you think? Uh, absolutely. So It's almost uh, like he's done this before. Almost. Almost. <laughs> so not all heroes wear capes, Nick. In Little Rock, Arkansas, a man yelled freedom as he crashed his vehicle into Arkansas's new Ten Commandments monument early Wednesday. Nearly three years after, he was arrested in the destruction of Oklahoma's monument at its state capital, oh. authorities said. So real quick, a real quick blur, because we did touch, touch on the Church of Satan. They've been embroiled in a lawsuit for a long time trying, to get, trying to get the Baphomet put up in Oklahoma City. Right. The same place where this man destroyed the Ten Commandments. Which is just a statue of the Baphomet, uh, two children on either side of him. Um, it, it's, it's a statue. You know, they have the same right. They do. Right? But they do. Right? They do. I, I just think they... I get their point. I just... I don't think they were realistically thinking no. it was ever going to really happen. Here, here's hey, my kids. thumb. Where's your bum? You know, right. Hey, hey, kids. Yeah. Go sit on this... This... <laughs> this goat. This devil. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah. So, the privately funded Arkansas Monument... So, here's, here's where we already have a problem. This is the state capitol in Little Rock, and we have a privately funded monument. Mm -hmm. It had been in place outside the state capitol in Little Rock for less than 24 hours before it was knocked from its plinth, plinth. and smashed to pieces. Boy, <laughs> isn't plinth a fun plinth. word? Yeah, dude. Plinth? I'm going to call my son a plinth. Hey, well, plinth. What's a plinth? Get hey, plinth. plinth. Plinthing around. Michael <laughs> Tate Reed, 32, of Van Buren, Arkansas, was booked in the Pulaski County Jail shortly after 7.30 a.m. on preliminary charges of defacing objects of public interest, criminal trespass, and first-degree criminal mischief. There it is. Uh, an arrest report lists his occupation as unemployed slash disabled. <laughs> All right, man. Man, Michael Tate Reed. Interesting stuff. So, and I actually watched that he posted a video to Facebook before he did this, and it was interesting because a lot of times I find that when things like this happen, the person behind it is usually equally ridiculous as the thing that they are trying to tear down. Yes. Fortunately, not the case this time. <laughs> Michael Tate Reed, himself a professed Christian. Wow. Weird. I did not know that. That's actually, I've, I've read this. I've seen it on uh -huh. Facebook for the yeah. past couple days. Didn't know that. Yeah. Interesting. So, in the video, the sky is dark and the Arkansas State Capitol's dome is visible. Music's heard, followed by a female voice, likely on the radio, saying... Where do you go when you're faced with adversity and trials and challenges? The drivers then heard growling, and he didn't really growl. I mean, I watched the video. Yeah. Oh my goodness, freedom, before accelerating into the monument. The vehicle's speedometer is last shown at 21 miles an hour, and then a collision could be heard, right? So <laughs> I mean, it was enough to knock these damn things over. Yeah, and he was driving yeah. a Dodge Dart, which isn't, I mean, it's a compact car. Yeah. Like the classic Dodge Darts would have, would have, I, a little Dodge Dart at 21 miles an hour. No. Yeah. Like one of the old school Dodge Darts that was all, you know, steel. I mean, it would have turned this, this shit into powder. But <laughs> it, still, the fact that this mowed it down at 21 miles an hour is pretty impressive. Yeah, 6,000 pounds of monument. You know, yeah, so, hey. fell from its plinth. Boy, they are just... What is it? What's going on in I, Vegas? I Las know. Vegas Review Journal brings us this piece that is full of the word plinth. <laughs> yep. Plinth. Wow, so... Sorry, I'm trying to look for another person. I know, seen it twice, I know. But... No. Anyway. He, you know, he apologized in 2015 for the Oklahoma Monument. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. And said he suffered from mental health issues. But, uh, you know, here's where it gets stupid. Uh, here's a quote from Senator Jason Rapert, who's been in the news... I like saying Rapert, because yeah, yeah. this dude is all about... 
raping the sensibilities. Seriously, of, of dude, what people. is this? Guy? Oh, man. I saw recently where he had told, and and this is more recent. He in Facebook on a Facebook post, somebody had said said something to him, and he about about basically, hey, the uh, the rights of the minorities are. <clears throat> aren't decided by the majority and he quite literally said on Facebook yes they are we give you the privilege of rights and it's like wow what a piece of shit so here he is saying obviously I'm very obviously. disappointed that someone would carry out an act of violence that's actually against the people of Arkansas Ugh. I'm glad you're touching on this because when I read this quote from him I was like what you have to understand this is someone who's on a premeditated basis came to carry out an act of violence against the state what? Well, it's a privately funded monument. Yeah. And an act against the state. Freedom. <laughs> I, I don't know. I, don't I think, think it's so, just no. a... I, I think what it is here is this man, Michael Tate Reed, is, in fact, you know, a Christian. And they're going to call him... He is, in fact, Baphomet. Uh, right. <laughs> He's Baphomet. Yeah, yeah. Trying to shit on our commandments. <laughs> that son of a bitch. Yeah. He's going to burn in hell like us. So, I mean, and if you watched his video, and you guys can go find the video for it, he, he talks about the separation of church and state, that being his big problem with it. Mm. But, but then, of course, you get this response that, that uh, yeah. it's an act against the state. And, I mean, maybe technically it was privately funded, but it was on state ground, so technically, yes, but, but it's a bit silly. Uh, yeah, yeah. yeah. I yeah. agree with you there. I yeah. absolutely do. Well, and, of course, you know, uh, Raper here... He he liked these these commandments. There's a picture of him on Twitter posing with them, and so I love that this kind of ties into the Satanic Temple a little it bit. It does, you know. It does. It is all about Satan. This Plans for the, Ar uh, the Arkansas Monument sparked a push by the Satanic Temple for completing the statue of Baphomet, uh -huh. a goat-headed angel queen, uh, angel-winged creature. Mm -hmm. um, so this is a good step for them, you know. It's like right. So there's things. other people yes. championing championing <laughs> the cause. I don't know. They're yeah. not in jail. Hey, we're talking about symbols and icons, and this is something that I think everybody has probably wondered at some point in time. Yeah. And I haven't even read this because I was so curious. I wanted us to discover this You together. just brought this up. I so, did. you know me, I know you, we uh -huh. have tons, uh, I mean, we're, we're tech technologically advanced mm -hmm. dudes. I would think uh, so. The power button, the universal symbol for power. Why does it look like it does? You know, I've never, I've never stopped and thought about it. I haven't either. I've always just assumed that it's just a symbol that looked cool. And, 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 you know, or, and before we read this, I also, it comes to mind, like, the other thing that came to mind was, like, nuclear reactors, how rods dip down. And, okay. But I don't know how old this damn thing is, so we're going to get into it. A modern-day hieroglyphic standard brings us most of our icons. Very okay. Cool. So, we touch, hold, long press, or tap up this symbol every day. Yes, okay, so where does it come from, Nick? Well, this is interesting that I haven't seen this, Matt, because uh, the YouTuber, LGR, Lazy Game Reviews, right, this I is... follow his channel, yeah. I, I've watched it this for It must be very down there. It must be. Um, so, what, what is this? The half circle is a zero. It's a reference to the binary on and off states. Oh, okay. Okay, the line that intersects the circle to communicate that this... This button won't cut the power fully, but is in standby mode. A line inside a circle, or an empty circle, would turn on and off or shut down completely. So, that's 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 that. That's that. Oh, I thought it was going to be something cooler. I thought it was going to be a little, a little cooler. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, geez, that kind of... <laughs> feeling kind of deflated. I feel yeah. Like I need... Fuck, in 1973, really? the International Electrotechnical Commission added the power symbol to its collection of graphical symbols for use on equipment and it stayed the same since well, get off my lawn with all right so that's a, that's a thing so i need something to kind of you know this isn't that's not as exciting as, as i thought it was going to be we so made, matt yeah michael phelps is going to race an actual shark on shark week <laughs> fucking hey he is he is what is going on so here? we are just going to go into this michael phelps uh 23 gold medals yeah great white sharks no medals. <laughs> no medals right so this comes to us from BuzzFeed, and yeah. <laughs> so they, uh, have you seen the trailer for this? I haven't. I it's haven't. It's legit. It's legit. It, it's okay, legit and I'd trailer. imagine it would be because Michael Phelps is no, no questioning his his prowess in the pool. So this is a very 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 short clip. Um, Are they, we can do no, we won't be able uh, to hear. Yeah, we won't be able to hear this. Uh, basically, it is Phelps versus Shark. 
the battle for ocean supremacy. Oh my god. Man, if this ends, if this doesn't end with him getting eaten, ah. Uh, you know, it's. Do you think people are going to lose money on that? Do you think Vegas has a line running right now? We don't even know how he's going to race this fucking thing. Like, how do you race a shark? Seriously. I mean, I, I don't, I don't. I don't understand how they're going to make this work. And the way they're, like, advertising this, it isn't clear exactly how Phelps is going to race a great white shark without getting, like, <laughs> eaten alive, but that's all part of the fun, Matt. <laughs> uh, oh, man. Oh. But, it, okay, so... It, the thing Let's is, hope this ends in a tragedy. Man, well, it couldn't be well, any more tragic you know, than this other... <laughs> than our last, our last liquid-related story. Better put on some shades, cover your eyes kids because there is tragedy after popular jav actress drowns while filming bukkake scene in tokyo this is a bad one kids this is bad this is a bad, bad, bad one bad. so just uh i felt like we needed to at least cover our eyes to read this because i sent this to you matt uh, um, when i heard about it uh you did and normally this is the sort of thing that i would i would have you know i don't even you know i know uh i follow a group on facebook death grab their death groups trash posting ah so i, I could see where this yeah, would yeah this would. was a trash post but oh. it's legit this actually this, happened this um, really really happened so let's let's try to be mindful uh somebody did <gasps> die, die in this this is gonna be tough this this is gonna be really uh all right here we go God. so what is, uh, what's, what is Bukake, Matt? Let's just get it. Well, Nick, and this is why I was excited, because when you sent me this, then I knew automatically that you know what it is. <laughs> so many times when I bring up these, when I bring these stories to you, it's a learning thing for you. Yeah. You already knew. A lot of them, a lot of them So, happen. for those of you that don't know and may not understand why we'd be covering our eyes for this story, uh, Bukake is usually a, uh, so it's a type of, it's a type of scene in, in porn, or it's even a whole porn genre where you have a, uh, I, I guess it doesn't have to be a female either, a male or a female with a bunch of bunch of dudes standing around and it, <laughs> <laughs> ejaculating on, on, on one person's face in their mouth, facial. There you go. Yeah. Uh, uh, I mean, it, it roughly translates to, uh, <laughs> it's a rude word. Rude splash, right? <laughs> bunch of dudes rudely splashing Too all splash over rudely. your face. That's it. I, you know, and the only reason I say it's dudes is because, I mean, maybe there's a way this could happen. I've heard of women squirting, but I think that would take an awful lot of coordination. Ugh. So, huh. uh, Japan's adult movie industry mm -hmm. today, well, mm -hmm. not today, uh, last so, week. Uh, a week or so ago, right. Uh, they're in mourning after reports that a popular actress has died in a tragic workplace accident while shooting Bukake. Indeed, according to a camera operator who witnessed the incident, the actress was filming a scene when the accident occurred, and we know what that is. Mm -hmm. uh, here's a quote from the camera operator. For this scene, there were around 30 male actors lined up. 30. Jesus. 30. I feel like having the sunglasses on makes it look like we're taking this seriously. Um, uh, so, <laughs> where, uh, yeah. 30 male actors lined up. Right, the actress was kneeling on the ground and the actors were taking turns to ejaculate onto her because that's what they do in, in this sort of thing. Right? Fun. Right, Nick, yeah. The director insisted that they direct their semen into her mouth, which is quite normal in a JAV movie. Okay. Uh-huh. However, it appears that the actress began to choke at some point during the process, a fact that was not immediately apparent to the director and the other male How actors. How do you so have 30 dudes standing around? So, and not have some kind of choking going on. I mean, I don't personally know. I've never been been the target of, 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 of this so much. But I would imagine that, that gagging and whatnot, and think, I think it would be really... It, it doesn't sound like it if you were just to not consider certain things. This is so, so uncomfortable. This is really fucking... <laughs> this is really uncomfortable, isn't it? We, yeah. we are just, we're two dudes sitting here talking about... They, they assumed uh, she was acting, Matt. She was, she was not acting. She was not acting. No. Uh, she collapsed. She the did. director mm -hmm. was angry, mm -hmm. telling her she'd ruined the shot. Mm -hmm. uh, became clear that she really couldn't breathe, and everyone became shocked. Now, here's here's the bread and butter of the story. Oh, it butter. Is, it is a tragedy. Uh, so, Phrasing. A, a good old buddy old pal who knew some CPR. Oh, jeez. <laughs> and, I mean, what else do you do here? Oh, man. I mean, Nick, I'm... Talk about... Jumping party lines. I mean, mm -hmm. <laughs> you want me to take this? Uh, you're, you're, you're you ready? take it, man. Yeah. I, I'll take this and, and, and go right. with it. Uh, so, 
there was the shock of the collapse. The camera operator said many of the male actors became quite panicked, but one of them who had received medical training rushed forward to help. Ha! <sighs> and it, you know, let's be fair, it, this guy's probably done this before. <laughs> 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 but without, I mean, without, like, the tragedy. I, uh, so he tried to scoop as much out, as much of the semen out before starting mouth-to-mouth like, -mouth resuscitation. We gotta put those back on. Yep. But it was too late. There was nothing anyone could have done. So this guy had to scoop semen out of this woman's mouth and, and then do mouth-to-mouth resuscitation. But it was too late. Not all heroes wear capes. Whoa! At least he tried. What a story, Matt. But what, what a story indeed. What are you gonna do for the fourth? Oh, I'm not going swimming. I'm not going much. swimming either. Fuck. Stay away from the hot dogs this year. Jesus pack. Christ. God damn. Man. That was rough. That was... We did it. That was brutal. We did it. We did it. So we made it through that. Uh, no, no, nobody... Needed Matt CPR. was not going to let us not talk about that. There was no I way. After we talked I about this, this to you, I was like, this is, is that a bad idea? Yeah. Well, you know, if you send this to me, this is going to... We're going to talk about this. Oh, yeah. Hey, look. If you have stuff you want to send us, you can do that. We'll talk about it. Especially, clearly, if it's disgusting and involves scooping semen out of out of actresses' mouths. You know, we're, we're probably gonna... There, there's that. I mean, if it goes beyond that, we may I may have a line where I say stop. But hey, why not? We're always looking for, for new stories that, that need to be brought to, to light, man. Absolutely. Right? So this is a, another, another fun-filled episode. Enjoy the 4th of July. Enjoy all that freedom and, and fireworks and... and Beer, maybe stay away from the hot dogs. Do that. Just, just, just have a burger. 